adjustment masks, um, as well as layer masks uh, to create some surreal effects on an image. So first thing we're going to do is open up a new file. Let's do this one. Um, make sure it's in inches. Let's go 8.5 by 11. Uh, you might want to adjust this later, but I think this will be okay. And we'll go 300 for our resolution. I'm just going to pull this up so it's a little bit larger. And the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to look for a face. Um, so I already typed in, I'm um, just looking for man's face, you can do woman's face, whatever. Um, make sure it's a decent quality image, um, something that's fairly clear. It looks like this one's okay. So I'm just going to basically figure out a way, one way or another, to get that image in to your Photoshop document. And then I'm holding down shift to make this larger so I can start working with it. So I want to kind of have it fill up. Now I'm going to stretch it out a little bit just because um, for demo purposes you don't have to do that. And then just double click it to apply that setting. Okay so that's step one is getting your uh, your base image. Step two then is going to be you're going to go find some kind of a texture. We're basically going to try to do like a zombie face. So what I'm going to look for is um, like a meat texture. So this looks good. All right, something something along these lines. You can kind of mess around a little bit. And what I'm going to do is then I'm going to bring this in and drop on the same image. Okay, so you want these both on the same image. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to work this on top of areas um, on the face. So I'm going to go here, apply that. I'm gonna say, all right, I want this to maybe be on his cheek. And you can rotate and kind of get into place where you think you want it to be. So I want it on this side. All right. And once that's set, just double click it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make what's called a layer mask. And the layer mask allows us to work with the image but actually not manipulate it. So we're gonna go to layer, um, layer mask, and you have two options. You have reveal all and hide all. We're gonna say hide all, and we're actually gonna paint essentially on the texture. So go ahead and hit hide all. Um, so now you can see down your layers when you have your image, and then you have this black mask, which is basically covering up that thing. If you click on the regular, image then you're gonna actually gonna manipulate the image but we want to make sure we're highlighted in that little black square there um, from here we're gonna go get our paintbrush and I want to go get a paintbrush just a regular paintbrush not make sure it's not the history brush I'm gonna go get my hundred size one and I'm gonna use my brackets to bump the size on that not too big okay make sure it's a soft edged um, now you have black and white down here let's see what happens when we start painting with white okay what white's going to do is it's actually going to erase um, the mask, so it exposes the image. If I toggle this and I switch to black, it's going to do the opposite. So the black actually, um, you know, functions as a uh, as an eraser in this sense. Um, you can also mess with your opacity, so it's not as intense if you don't want it to be. So I'll go down to like down to 78 percent, and I'm going to start painting with my white. Okay, and what I'm doing here is I'm basically just exposing that texture on top of there now. The reason you would, might want to go like a lower opacity is so you maybe keep some of those skin folds in there, um, so you're not losing the original texture of the face. Um, you could also switch back to the eraser and then um, toggle that even lower, and then you can erase, which is really what you're doing is adding the mask on there to expose the the folds. You see that's looking pretty good. Now the color might be an issue, you know, and we're going to talk about that later. Okay, so um, what I want you to do is go ahead and uh, mess with that. Um, try to get that to a point where you where you like what it looks like, so it kind of looks cool. Um, now the real key to doing a tutorial like this is that you want to get um, multiple things going at once. So um, you might type in something else like rotting texture. So like, there's some like nasty looking things there. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be that. You guys can really do really any kind of texture would probably work for this. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna go uh, just for demo's sake. I'm gonna, I'll do this because it's kind of a weird looking thing and it looks like um, kind of strange. So I'm gonna bring this in. All right, now I'm gonna put this on the other side of this guy's face. Okay, so I'm just getting it kind of stacked up there. And then I'm going to go again, new layer mask. And I'm going to do that. You can do the reveal. I actually, I just don't like the reveal all. Um, 
in this particular thing, but I'll show it to you right now. So reveal all, same basic idea. Now I would want to work with black because black's going to erase, and uh, you can see how I'm, how I'm kind of manipulating that. Right. Now, uh, one of the benefits of using layer masks and adjustment masks and stuff is it, uh, something called workflow. And what workflow is is that you're messing with an image, but you're not actually um, deleting it. So here we could actually go over here and delete the mask. So click on the mask, hit delete, and it'll leave the image, but it'll take the mask away. So you, you know, you don't actually lose that. Um, so that's looking kind of cool. And then you know you could still go and you can bump up the size and mess with that if you want to like make it his eye or something. Um, you can kind of play around. All right, so we can have a couple things on there. Like I said, you know, the real benefit of this is you could probably go and and put a lot of different kinds of things on there, Oops. Um, and layer them up over top of one another. So you could find like another really interesting texture, um, and really like anything. Like I'm just doing me because I'm try trying to make this thing look like a zombie. Did not make my mask. Layer, layer mask, hide all, and switch back to my white. Start kind of building that up now. I want to bump down that opacity a little bit here. Layer, layer mask, hide all, and just a low. So you can kind of see that that works because it kind of builds up. Now you just want to be careful on what size brush you're using there too. All right, so that's looking pretty cool. Um, and then you want to kind of avoid the edges because that's when you run into issues where you'll actually see a line. So you can kind of see the edge of the photograph exposing there. So I'm going to go back and kind of erase that out a little bit. All right, next thing. Um, a couple things you can do here. Now you can see that this isn't necessarily matching up perfectly. Uh, you could actually go on to your specific um, images. So like say like this one right here where the hole is on his face. If I wanted that color to match a little bit better, I could click actually on the image and off the mask and then go up to image, go to adjustments and we'll go hue and saturation. And this would be a good way for you to change the actual color of that stump thing. So kind of get it to match the skin. So I just move that over a little bit. You can mess with the saturation level, lower it down. I think that's actually looking pretty cool. Hit okay. Now the other thing is maybe I wanted the entire image just to be more contrasted um, without actually going in and contrasting each part. What I could do here is I'm just going to go to the top. I'm going to go layer, new adjustment layer. I'm going to go brightness and contrast. Hit OK. And that's going to pop up over here. And what this allows you to do is actually control the entire image together to make it brighter or darker. Okay. Um, so what I'd like you to do today is kind of mess around with this idea of adding new layer masks and um, adding adjustment layers to see what you can do with your piece and um, and try to make a zombie or some kind of textured image, um, you know, just using multiple layers and, uh, you know, trying to cover the face but also make it look kind of realistic at the same time. Um, that's it.